Hello everyone and welcome back to Pekka Plays Hearts of Iron 4 with the Kaiserreich mod. We are back in the Socialist Republic of Italy. Last episode we started with the 4th Congress. And I think we're going to go and try to get Mussolini on board. Even if it does, potentially... Uh, I hope it doesn't get the coming of France off our back. Because we kind of need him to be able to take out the Italian Federation. Let's go. So long as we can stay in his faction, we should be okay to switch over to Minito Mussolini. At least that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. And other news, Soviet Russia is over here trying to take out Russia. Second day, internal policy. While discussing internal security, the organized crime problem has merged with the dominant topic of the debate. The factions of the party are staunchly divided on how to approach the issue. The social reformists wish to increase social spending to help the population in affected areas in hopes to reduce crime affecting family authority, whilst the anarcho syndicalists wish to empower the Republican Guard to fight off the, the criminals. The national syndicalists take that things a step further, arguing for expensive secret police services a, and surveillance in order to be, bring this to bring this threat and any other to a swift end. Utilize every tool available to smash the crime family threat. So we're going to keep pushing for the totalists. Let me see. Yes, Totalists is on here somewhere. Come on. Totalists. Yeah, well. National Syndicalists have 19 points now. Alright, good to know. Let's just keep watching the Soviet Union. We don't have enough troops to help recruitment. Oh, come on. You can finish this off. And uh, now I guess... I suppose I'm actually going to need some of those. There you go. Have one. Now then, with that, I would put everything in on here for right now. Just because. Military th uh, Day 3, Military Policy. The final order of business is the matter of the public's military. The social reformists have a small professional army for self-defense purposes, while the anarcho syndicalists push for a large people's army in preparation for the war with the North Italy. Mussolini's nationalist syndicalists propose is the most radical yet extreme demographic controls in an effort to increase the population for future manpower. Demographic controls to ensure a strong military in the future. Push for them slowly. Oh yeah, they're almost there. Can send volunteer forces. Can... Oh, can't puppet. Low popularity. This is bad, peeps. This is bad. Well, we had medium, right? Hey, syndicalist. National syndicalist majority. The national syndicalists have achieved a majority, and they are now in charge of the government. Benito Mussolini assumes the role of president, while Michel Bianchi, oh, Bianchi assumes the role of the chairman of the House of Commons. Gains Giuseppe Baudisseri, which grants something for 180... 1,825 days. Congrats, Comrade Mussolini. And a whole bunch of things, doesn't matter. I wish to see this. Yes, he has his beautiful top hat. We are now a totalist. And does that mean I get to stay, I still be in your faction? It means you, you can like me. I'll allow you to like me. Let's see what tanks you got. You got a Vickers and a Vickers Light. Not really that good. Yeah. Well, we will continue. We are now totalist, with a handsome man leading us to victory. So, Giuseppe Bottales, economic minister, the totalists. Oh yeah, they all got changed around. Head of military intelligence. Interesting. Totalists. Syndicalist national populists. Weird. Yeah, well, hey, how you guys doing? What's holding you back? At the moment, it is the artillery. And artillery is currently getting done at about one every week. Okay, that could actually be a problem. Mm. But it's not the biggest one. Let's see. You there. Pious. Yeah, when are you going to die? You seem like an old man. Also, I might as well go check out the wars of the world. I know there was... Maklek versus Mongolia. I've seen that before. Soviet Union fighting on hard. Hey, we can actually see the Commune of France, where their forces are. I see they're doing the lovely thing where volunteers engage with one action and then decide to never fight again. I like it. You gotta, you gotta hold out this region in case anyone comes back. Construction is finished. Therefore, 
Well, for Boba's our promises, we had some military promises, we had some excavation promises. Uh, industry. I suppose it works. Excavation. Go heavy with industry. So we can get ourselves out of this rut. Excavation could help with our lacking resources problem. Military. Hmm. Yeah, you reduce the speed. You're making one every week. It'll take... Uh, 24. It'll take half a year just to put out a single division properly. And this is going to take until May. It's down from November. I'll give it that. How about... We got 30 mil political power at the moment. We have some things we could do. We're at civilian economy. We're at volunteer only. We'll probably want that to just get boosted up to conscription. Because it seems to fit. Am I right? I think I'm right. Let's see. Really, there's not a whole lot of interest going on at the moment. Mostly just Soviet Russia. I can think of one other war that started somewhere. I know that this area was fighting. Oh, oh Tibet must have joined the war with the Ma Click. Just like in my Ching game. What is this? An important member of the cabinet turned up dead today. Shot in his vehicle on the side of the road, the style that could easily be attributed to one of the several prominent organized crime families the Republican Guard is investigating, but so far, leads indicate the official has been in the pocket of one of the families until they attempted to end the relationship. Investigators are now prompting to step efforts to shut down another attempt at the crime families to infiltrate the government ranks. So Sachi, you'll be in here somewhere. Uh, Sachi, no, another murder? Maybe he's already gone. But either way, he's dead. Good stability, low popularity. Ah, and I just boasted up to. But we should be increasing. Joint faction tension. Jenny gurgles against us. And you, do you, you still like me. You still love me. For reasons. In faction is the only reason you need. That's the only reason I'll ever give you. But the fact that we're on low stability could be very annoying. We're not a stable union, are we? I need some political power. Though popularity is bringing it down, organized crime is bringing it down, for investments bringing it way down, but that only lasts for... Oh yeah, it's just this. Poland elects the new king? Whoa. The Poland-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Interesting. Oh, last time I played, I believe they became a republic. Kingdom of Poland. Oh boy, what is this? Foreign investment's done. Some kind of rebellion. While the Siamese revolution itself was successful, it's political. Oh, Siamese Federation versus the Kingdom of Siam. Concerning. Uh, national syndicalists. I could start going down that path. I could go for military industry. Two military factories. Oh, that's good. What is this? Uh, national syndicalist under Benito Mussolini have taken power, pushing the nation to a more extremist and militaristic path. Well, it is hearts of iron, you understand. But what does it do, though? Mutually exclusive. I, th I. Oh, the focus. This focus will eventually be automatically bypassed and will unlock the other focuses. What? Okay. Then I don't need to do it. Good to know. Is that just an option, though? Huh. How do you know? It's an option. Instead of start, there's bypass. Huh. I never knew that was a thing that could happen. I didn't know that was a button you could click. As for my armies, I got a couple going very well. Good, good. So you're missing 12, you're missing all your cannons, you're halfway done. You need more cannon. You need more cannon. Dispersed industry, it's done. 1936 still. Hmm. Let's see, in case we end up in a quick war, support weapons could be very good. Very useful. They have three divisions right there, I don't, I don't like that. I could not, would not. I do not like that. Because we're waiting on the cannon so much, let's actually put out some of Infantry, Infantry Division 1s. 
Click to the top. There we go. Make one for now. Just because. In there. And to you. Also, this should probably get new... Ah, we've... Good, it's done. That is done. I could use some new symbols. Let's see. For the basic infantry division... Maybe this star, and for you, this star. And you can have the pawn. Ho Chi Minh arrives in Calcutta. Keep an eye on this one. Oh boy. Calcutta would be here. Hey. I remember at one point I was playing this game and Gandhi took over this. Where's this Ho Chi Minh? Why is he not in the German Empire? In Vietnam. Hmm. I was playing an earlier game when I was trying to get in preparation for this, and the Pope had died by this point. I'm getting worried that he's just not going to do that. I'd prefer if he died so I could declare war on him. The Third International. Yes, I am. Covering economy. The de oh, oh, here we go. So, now he's the head of the College of Cardinals is the de facto ruler of the North. Meaning we gotta get ready. Just actually. Oh, so there's some other divisions finally start popping up. Yes! Look at that! It doesn't have as many cannon, but it has plenty. Russian Republic declared war on the Kingdom of Finland. Are you sure? Are you sure that's a good idea? Because I believe you... But, but why? I mean... The Russian Republic is not going to really get out of this. Oh my god. Transamor. Aren't you a, aren't you a puppet? Interesting. Oh, I didn't even read that. Wait, a puppet can declare war without the other person involved? Oh, uh, without the overlord? That must be within the mod. I do not remember that from other places. Bombing in cities and Sicilia. This war has better be over soon. And uh, ideology has grown. Excellent. The totalists. We're getting there. We're getting there. The anarcho syndicalists are still holding on. But for the most part, we're all right. So, Silesia got a bit damaged. It's not good. I. Especially with the instability up here, I can't exactly just pull my troops back to try and deal with that. So, we're going to have to go ahead with it. No popularity. Is certainly annoying. Especially since I... Oh, downfall and stability. Place good stability with average stability. Oh, no, that's stability. Okay. Okay, then. Oh, I think I... Had... Oh, yeah, I had raised my stability up, not my popularity. Right. Right, some protests in Rangoon University. Nice. Things I can do. I could go for heavy industry, civilian to military, or to military... Well, I think I kind of have to go for two civilian, two military. If it's the same amount of time. It's just too good to pass up. Now this navy, you could use a commander. You are pretty good. All these destroyers are just going to die as soon as you get into fighting. But you're... Yeah, yeah you're alright. Hmm. Greece. I don't suppose you have anyone backing you don't seem to and you hate Bulgaria hey and Albania is of course a puppet of Ottoman Empire somehow except how does that even work what does this mean puppets because you don't seem to own them or anything you want a faction what what is this German Empire Ottoman Empire likes them very good opinion and there's just nothing here. It's just not a relations. Puppets. Subject nations. Weird. Oh, the mod changes things here and there. Still a very good mod. The Arab Congress. The Arab revolt in the Valkyrie was a failure, mostly due to a defeat in the Entente. I wonder if we're going to see this before. Heshemite Arabia. Just say something about a republic. You seem to be authoritarian. Oh, authoritarian dem for democracy. I get it. Did you gain... Yes, you have claims over all... Nope. 
only over Arabian territory. You don't have it over, say, Iraqi territory or Jordan, Palestine, Sinai, and also the Germans here. Ooh, I wonder... Everything over here seems to still be okay. I remember back when I played as the Qing, this, there, there was quite a lot of weird things going on over here. A lot of random territory becoming technical colony states with that you can't pass through. I remember that fondly. Yeah, oh, my division's doing. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that's... I get it. High priority. That's why everything's going to you. High priority, boys. Huh. I could get just get more divisions if I put this up. Ooh, United States. What was that about Liberia? Liberia, what are you doing? French war. Fighting a defensive war. So, the French Republic does not enjoy Liberia. Pacific states have declared war. Yes, it is this... Ooh, okay. okay. Fall of Moscow? Wait, but you were advancing past Moscow. Last time Moscow had been taken by a foreign power, the vast fire wiped out large populations of the city. It's not so today. The Russian forces broke through the siege lines and multiple places and converged on the Kremlin. Soviet soldiers continue to snipe at the enemies in the high-rises. The situation in the Soviet Union appears dire. How did they take it back? The Soviet Union had... I don't get it. What happened? Because the Russian Republic is being attacked by the Transmore on this side, by Finland now, and the Soviet Unions were pushing on. What's going on here? Either way, no time for that. Let's see, it's 1936 still. I could use some doctrine, not gonna lie. Mass Assault? Or Superior Firepower, let's go Mass Assault. Because we can. My division now has eight. Good. Hmm. If I put this like that, these guys could start getting filled out, and I'll have a few more divisions to work with. 19% World Tension, Second American Civil War, Troubles in Development. Indeed. Ooh, Combined Syndicalists of America. Obviously, I want you to win. I believe you are the ones that won last time. Let's see, and you are Social Conservatives. You're just a military junta. The American South are paternal autocrats. And you've cut the nation in half. At some point I remember Mexico joining in and they're paternal autocrats. While also being syndicalists somehow. No, the paternal autocrats are black. We just keep getting no effects from something called Sanchi. Hey, a new division. Hey, not so bad. We have three of those good divisions now. The particularly good divisions. Is this war going to start anytime soon? The national focus set. They have a new pope. The papal conclave. The Catholic faithful in Rome reached a sigh of relief, breathed a sigh of relief, as the Sistine Chapel's chimney billows forth white smoke, signifying the election of a new pope. A short time later, there's an announcement that the hardline Theodore Cardinal in Inizze has truly as true political player and staunch opponent to syndicalism has become His Holiness Pope Julius the Fourth, leader of the Catholic Church and head of the state of the Italian Federation, St. Peter, as a new occupant. I see. Army takes power in the Philippines. Okay, good to know. So if we were to attack... Oh, I definitely want to take Rome. They've pulled out of Rome... Maybe encircle Ancano, probably go to Livorna, Firenze, Bologna, and definitely want to try and make their way to the capital, Milan, before the French could have anything to do. As for us, as much as I do appreciate the fact that you are producing cannon now, infantry weapons are the most important. Expand the secret police, political power up, decryption research time, research time in general, eh, not, not so bad. Military factories, military points, here and there. Eh, might as well go through his policies first. I don't know what's this going to do with the election of a new pope. Well, it seems as if we both have new rulers, huh? Italian Federation. 
But with that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode to see where this goes. Bye-bye!